still don't understand why you brought me here today. Well, honey, you're older now, and Mama thinks it's time to show you something very, very special. Ta-da! Wow, look at all these names. These must be the names of people who donated money to keep the park beautiful. Mm, not exactly. Then these must be the thousand points of light. No, Missy. These 20,000 names are the women who slept with Will Chamberlain. <laughs> a monument to that? Honey, that's just the tip of the iceberg. You see that name up there? Mom! That's right! Me, me, me. <laughs> Mom, that's great! Oh! You never cease to amaze me. Well, honey, you know one of these days maybe you'll get lucky and you'll meet Wilt and then your name will be on the wall of fame. Well, thanks all the same, but, uh, I've already been there, homie. You don't have to tell me why they call him the still. <laughs> oh, girl. Oh, I guess my little girl's a full-grown skeezer. How you living? What? How you living? What? How you Christy Brown, the hero from My Left Foot, is back. And he's not just kicking his handicap, he's kicking some ass as Ireland's champion kickboxer in My Left Foot of Fury. Another pipe there, Christy. Not tonight, Reg. I'm wheeling. I said no! Hey! Leave her alone! Who's gonna make me? Oh, yeah. And who's gonna help you, Gibby? I am. Van Damme, brass knuckles. Reunited with his Belgian brother, Jean-Claude Van Damme, he's putting his foot down where it counts. <laughs> Van Damme, no chucks. Christy Brown, Jean-Claude Van Damme kicking into high gear in my left foot of fury. I know how to make love to a woman. I might be old. I may not be able to ride them like I used to, but I can still fit the saddle. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey there, how you doing, young man? That's a oh, nice tie you got there. Thank you. Hang in there, man. How long the wait? Oh, oh, well, see, it's two hours if you want to get with me, but, uh, you can go right up in Max's chair if you want to. That's okay. I'll come back later. All right, that's a smart man. Oh, Lordy. Ooh, you Suck up! Boy, you got in? Move your damn seat. Hey, man, what's your problem? I say, what you say, sucker? I said, what's your problem? Fine, and you? You know he can't hear you, don't you? He deaf is a swamp rat. Watch this. Mac? Did you change your drawers yesterday? Oh, what, say something? I said, did you change your stanky drawers yesterday? Uh, no, thank you. You know I don't need no chillings. <laughs> See what I mean? He's just as deaf as he want to be. <laughs> Why doesn't he get a hearing aid? Oh, well, he can hear when he want to hear. If it's something important for him, he can hear that. Watch this. Now, when Mac leaves, we gonna drink up all his bourbon. Y'all better not touch my liquor or somebody gonna get cut. <laughs> You ain't gonna cut nobody up in here, man. See what I mean? <laughs> hey, what's up, money? Hey, how you doing, son? I ain't got no money for you, but I can cut your head. Hey, man, what's the weight like up in here? I need a cut. Yeah, you, you do need one. But check this out. All these people are here waiting on me, but uh, you can go first up in Max's chair if you want. 
bet. I'll sit in Max chair. <laughs> Oh, you new here, ain't you? Yeah, how you know? Uh, just a lucky guess. Okay. Uh, what you want, young man? I just want to trim. Just trim it up. Take nice it all up? Nah, I want to trim. You know, East Coast or West Coast? Nah, I just want to trim. You want a tail in the back? Nah, I don't want a tail in the back. I just you want to trim. You want the initials right across the back? Nah, man. You don't wanna... want your name across the back? I just want to trim. Point to the wall what you want, sucker. Right there. The dude with the little ears. One globe trotter coming up. My name is Benny, and I'm an alcoholic. Hello, Hi, Benny. Benny. Welcome, Benny. Woo. I am glad to say that I haven't had a drink of alcohol in six months. That's wow. Anonymous. What are you talking about? You're not anonymous. They're Richard, they're Vinny, and Janet, and I'm Janet. Get out of here! Get out of here, Frenchie! No, wait a minute. I am the group leader. Sit down! You... Now, everybody is welcome to say, and anybody with an outfit on like that is in dire need of assistance. Yeah, hey, anyone with a wig got nerve to talk about my outfit. Yeah, there's a nerve there. Well, who's next? Jenny, you go next. Go, Jenny. Hi, um, well, <clears throat> I remember, uh, when I knew I had hit rock bottom, I, uh, left work and went straight to a bar. <clears throat> and, uh, the next thing I knew, I was in, a a gremlin with some, um, some greasy-looking guy I had never seen, and, and, uh, I had my dress up over my head, and I, I don't even... Know where my wedding ring is? <laughs> well, I'll be G my T. That was you. Well, they got forty wedding rings, but I bought you dogs that. Machine and he was 
the rule of Adam with you. I don't think you understand. We're alcoholics. Uh-huh. I-, I was once up to two bottles of J&B a day. I don't know how long I can stay dry. Hey, man, that ain't nothing. I was up to three and a half bottles of TCB light a day. I switched over to Afro Sheen, and I'm never dry. <laughs> Buddy, you just don't get it. I drank myself out of a job, a marriage, uh-huh. and a home. Hey, man, well, don't feel bad. My mama told me when I was six, I drank out the toilet. <laughs> look, 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 Frenchie, Frenchie, uh-huh. look, perhaps you can help us with our role playing. All right. Um, Janice, Janice. Janice. Oh, you got something there. Now, Janice, Frenchie is alcohol. Now, explain to him the way you feel. <clears throat> All right. I admit it. Mm-hmm. I'm addicted to you, oh. to your smell, mm. the way you intoxicate me. The thought that I can't go a single day without you just gives me the shakes. Well, baby, if all that happens, just looking at me, wait till I slip you some tongue. Come here. Oh, hey. Why don't you just tell us how alcohol has affected your life? What you talking about, man? I don't need no alcohol to get no women. All I need is a Rick James eight track, bottle of musk oil, and twenty-two dollars. Man, what can a girl get for twenty-two dollars? Nothing, but I can get the boot off my car. <laughs> hey, you know something? If this guy can get women without drinking, there's hope for us all. You gonna listen? Hey, to- now that sounds like a party to me. Come on, y'all, kick it off on four. One, two, three, four. I get one. Are you tired of that same old bald head? Tired of washing it, shining it, but you still come up with the same old look? Well, now there's Scully, conditioning head cream. Try Scully. Used like shampoo, Scully breaks down your scalp to make your skull soft and manageable. Create your own styles, like the non-hairy, non-dairy Mr. Softy. Or the Flesh Fade. Get Scully. You'll turn heads. Thanks, Scully. <laughs> Scully, we thought your head would have so much body. Public Access Channel 96 presents Men on Film. Welcome to Men on Films. Tonight, we have a brand new sponsor, Ballpark Franks. They plump when you heat them. Bet they do. (laughs) They almost can't fit into the bun. This week, we're going to answer some of our critics who say we can criticize films, but we don't know how to actually make cinema. The truth is, we've been making a lot of films over the years. Mm -hmm. But tonight, we're going to focus on our feature films. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this. The first Men on Film Festival. This show is all about us. It's my turn. (laughs) We begin with a Western picture called The Magnificent Nine. Now, this wonderful flick starred Blaine in the title role. And I have to say, Blaine, you just exploded onto screen. Kudos. Let's take a look at an exciting scene from The Magnificent Nine. Bartender, I want something stiff to drink. Jack Daniels? He look anything like you? Well, if it isn't 
Johnny Ringo. It's a mighty big piece of steel you got strapped to your leg. <laughs> this town's not big enough for both of us, Ringo. I'm riding you all the way back to Frisco. Go ahead and make my bed. Come to mama, girl. <laughs> but I miss you so much. I miss you since the fun dance. What happened to you? You left your spurs over my heart. How did you get out of the handcuffs, girl? Uh -oh. Hated it. Twan, do I see the little green-eyed monster peeking out? Just a little bit. Everyone knows the real reason why you got that part. It was the time you spent on that casting couch. Excuse me, Miss Thing, but both of us spent time on that couch. <laughs> so, anyway, our next film is a thrilling adventure starring this thing over here, set in the dark, dank, moist confines of a World War II submarine. It's called Deep Seamen. Oh, gosh. Dismissed, sailor. Ah, uh, Captain, I'm all finished in the boiler room. Request permission to put my shirt back on. Permission denied, sailor. Oh, by the way, those smudges look fabulous. Go put on those little shorts I like so much. Go on. Captain, enemy ships at 6 and 9 o'clock. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Fire torpedoes! Torpedoes are jamming the tube, sir. We can't get them to move. Oh, fooey. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to guide this one in myself, men. I'm going down in the hall. Here I come, you Nazi bastards. Whee! But you wasn't me. So oh, you anyway. just determined to work my last good nerve, ain't you? Yes, I am. I have just three words to describe my performance. One, dirt, full. And I'm through. <laughs> you know, I was disappointed when my film was not released with its original title, Das Booty. <laughs> oh, well, that brings us to our most recent, and I must say, our most successful collaboration. The boxing classic, Kid Fist. I think he likes me. <laughs> hey, let go of me, muchacho. Come on. Get off this. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get I hope that hurt, beast. <laughs> Yay, sis. Thank you. <laughs> oh, jeez, he's good. All that Latin blood just passing away in him. And he's cute. He has to do a couple of rounds. Come back here. <laughs> Don't swallow. I never do. Oh, look at my eye. It's all puffy. I know. I can fix it with a little Vaseline. Oh, I've heard that before. <laughs> Listen, if he hits you again, you tie him up. Okay, I don't think he's into that. Yoo-hoo! Hey, bro! Let's give Kid Fist the new Men on Film patented Festival Flamenco Snap. Ole! <laughs> well, I think this should put to rest all that carping and caterwauling about who can and who cannot make movies around here. Join us next week when we take a look at our new Christmas film, The Last Boy Scout. Mm-hmm. Zip up your sleeping bags, because it's going to be a bumpy night. I hope so. Good night, everyone. Oh, uh, once again, thanks for chilling with us. Uh, Kiss us next Sunday at 8 o'clock. And my man Steve, Steve want to say a little Steve something to you. Yo, 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 what's up? China down in the house. She Korea down in the house. She's in Tokyo in the house. What Steve really wants to say is, peace. 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 <laughs>